back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It's craft time again. The holidays are coming and whenever the holidays start approaching and I see all of the crafty things and the new things in the craft stores, it just gets me excited to make things that are fun to put up for the holidays. Today we are going to be making the man-eating wreath from Nightmare Before Christmas. It's actually one of the gifts that Jack made and left in one of the houses that he felt would be an amazing gift for Christmas. This is what it looks like. Let's get started. For this project, you'll need a 12 inch wired wreath. You'll need a ruler, scissors, wire, a black Sharpie, a wooden skeleton, a hot glue gun, black and white striped ribbon, 24 inches of garland, and three foam flexible sheets in white, yellow, and glitter red. The first thing I did is create a pattern for my teeth. You'll need two sets, one for the top set of teeth and one for the bottom set of teeth. I took my pattern, laid it over my white foam, and cut each set separately. I just cut the teeth to be different lengths and a little bit jagged to somewhat match the wreath from the movie. Next, I'm gonna use the yellow foam to cut out two oval-shaped eyes with points at the end. I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm going to draw an eye in the center of each yellow cutout. Next, I'm gonna cut out 12 red circles to use as berries from the red glitter foam sheet. I'm gonna turn my wreath over and I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue the teeth to the back side of the wreath. One set at the top and one set at the bottom so that the teeth are hanging down into the center of the wreath and can be seen from the front. I'm gonna cut two pieces of garland 12 inches long. Because my garland isn't wired, I'm going to use the wire and I'm going to wrap it carefully around each piece so that I have arms that are adjustable to attach to the side of my wreath. I'm going to attach the arms to each side of the wreath and I'm going to wrap my extra pieces of wire around the wreath so that it has something to hold it on. Next I'm going to glue my eyes on at an angle so that they're pointing down on the outside of the wreath. Next, I'm going to glue on my red berries in sets of three around the wreath. But I'm going to leave the bottom open because that's where I'm going to glue my bow. Next, I'm going to tie a bow out of my black and white striped ribbon and I'm going to leave long pieces hanging down so that they'll hang down from the bottom of my wreath. I'm going to glue my bow onto the wreath with my hot glue gun. And then I'm going to glue my skull on top of my bow. Now your wreath is finished and ready for hanging. All right, everybody, here's the finished product of the wreath. I had a really fun time making this. As you know, you can make it your own, and if some of the products that I've used, you can't find something exactly the same, you can always find something similar in the craft stores, the Dollar Tree, the 99 cent store, they have all kinds of things right now for the holidays, and especially this little skeleton guy, they have all types of those because Halloween is coming. So if you wanna make this wreath, get out there and buy your products right now so that you're sure to have everything you need before they switch to the Christmas or Thanksgiving holiday items. I hope you enjoyed my video and learned something new today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. 
Bye.